I am Anil Kumar and here is an application of logarithms to solve exponential equations. The question here is, determine how many monthly investments of $100 would have to be deposited into a savings account that pays 8% annual interest compounded monthly for the account's future value of 100000 And we are also given the future value formula which is future value equals to R, the monthly installments, into 1 plus interest rate to the power of number of monthly investments minus 1 divided by interest rate. We need to find what N is, right? So what we are given here is R, which is equals to dollar hundred. Interest I. So interest I should be calculated 8% uh, means 0 0.08 divided by 12 uh, since it is compounded monthly, right? So and future value is 100,000. These values are given and we need to find what N is. So you can substitute here, rearrange and then figure it out. What we will do at present is that we will actually rearrange the formula first, see how to rearrange the formula and then we will substitute and find the answer. So the steps involved will be future value could be multiplied by I and divided by R. So that could be the first step. So future value times, or you could divide by R. So let's say R, and then you multiply this by I, correct? So that equals to 1 plus I to the power of N minus 1. So that could be your first step. The next step will be you can add 1 to this, right? So we have uh, interest, so we have future value, right, times interest divided by R, plus 1, correct, plus 1, and that is equals to 1 plus i to the power of n. Now, the difficulty here is to isolate n, right? How do we isolate n? That's a big question. To do that, we use logarithms. So, take log on both sides. So, when we take log, we get log of all this, right? So, so it is future value times i divided by r, plus 1, correct, is equals to log of 1 plus i to the power of n. So that is the next step which we should be doing. Right? So I am providing you with a very general solution uh, which could be used in such situation. Now we will use the properties of logarithms where this is a power rule, logs to the power of n, it could be written as n times log of that. So we'll rewrite this equation. Let me write this on the left side. So we have log of, now n comes here. So n times log of 1 plus i equals to log of all this, which is future value times interest divided by r plus 1. Now we can find what n is as ratio of these two. So we have log of future value times i divided by r plus 1 divided by log of 1 plus i. Correct? So that is how you are going to find the value of n for such examples. Let me substitute these values and calculate. So we have n equals to log of future value for us is how much 100,000 right so we'll have 100,000 100,000 right i value is point so okay so we'll write 0 0.08 over 12 that is i right divided by r which is 100 okay and plus 1 plus 1 so bracket close divided by log of 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12. So that is the formula which you should be using to calculate n, right? So now, depending on your calculator, what you should do is you should calculate these values, correct? So let us try to do it in, in one way. I mean, so we could say log, bracket open. So I've already opened two brackets now. So, so we have 100,000 times 
0 0.08, 0 0.08 divided by 12. This is our first term. Uh, and then we have to divide this also by 100. So, so this is divided by 100, which is the R value, divided by 100. And we'll close this bracket. So we have got the first function. And then we have uh, plus 1, bracket close. So, so that is the numerator, divided by log of the denominator which is 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12 bracket close right so so this is the denominator let's see what we get so we get 306 let me write down the value here so what we get here is 306.54 right this is what we get right so you could do it in one step as i showed you now always that number has to be rounded and of course when you round it you get a higher amount but that's what you get if you just write this amount uh, decimal right so it is 307 is the number of monthly investments so those are the number of investments right you can write monthly investments they are required and of course you'll get slightly more than 100,000 but that is how you should be doing it. Now, when you are working with calculators, you can actually substitute all the values. It becomes much simpler and then calculate the answer. But I wanted to show you the general method of doing it. And this method uh, helps you to solve similar questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.